That small EGR valve sitting on your diesel engine might be one of the most argued over parts under the hood. Some mechanics claim it's ruining engines left and right, while others warn that deleting it could get you in serious legal trouble. The truth? It's not that simple. And today we're breaking down the real pros and cons of EGR deletes that most people never talk about. The power gains are real, the risks are serious, and the long-term effects might surprise you. Stick around till the end because I'll also explain the three main types of EGR deletes and why one of them is causing a lot of headaches right now. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is an EGR system and why do so many diesel owners hate it? EGR stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation. It was designed for one big reason, to help your engine meet emission standards by reducing nitrogen oxide, NOx. Sounds good in theory, right? But here's how it actually works. The EGR system takes a portion of your hot exhaust gases and sends them back into your intake system. This mix of hot exhaust with fresh air lowers combustion temperatures, which helps cut down NOx emissions. On paper, it's great for the environment. In real life, though, it can cause a lot of expensive headaches. When that hot, dirty exhaust gas mixes with clean intake air, it brings along soot and carbon particles. Over time, these build up inside your intake manifold, EGR valve and even your engine. That buildup reduces performance, clogs passages, and forces your engine to work harder. Dealerships love this system because it keeps customers coming back for cleanings, replacements, and repairs. But drivers, not so much. That's where EGR Delete comes in. This modification removes or disables the system completely, and the results can be dramatic. So let's look at the advantages first because this is what attracts most diesel owners. Let's start with what most diesel owners notice right away. More power. When you remove the EGR system, your engine finally gets a full breath of fresh, oxygen-rich air. No more mixing clean air with dirty exhaust gases. That means better combustion, stronger performance, and noticeably more horsepower and torque. Many drivers say they can feel the difference immediately after deleting the EGR. The throttle feels sharper, the turbo spools faster, and acceleration becomes smoother. But that's just the beginning. The next big benefit is better fuel economy. Think about it. When your engine has to burn a mix of clean air and exhaust gas, it's basically suffocating itself. It has to work harder and use more fuel to make the same power. Once you stop recirculating that exhaust, your engine burns fuel more efficiently. It's common to see fuel mileage improve by 5 to 10 percent, sometimes even more on long highway drives. That's real savings you'll notice at the pump. Next up, cleaner combustion. Here's a dirty little secret most dealerships never mention. Every time that EGR system pushes exhaust back into your intake, it also sends tiny soot and carbon particles right into your engine. Over time, those particles stick to intake runners, valves, and sensors, forming thick black gunk. This buildup doesn't just rob your engine of power, it can also increase operating temperatures, clog sensors, and cause misfires. When you delete the EGR, you stop that constant flow of contamination. The air inside your engine stays cleaner, combustion stays consistent, and performance remains stable for much longer. Then there's the engine longevity factor. And this one's huge. The EGR system is known for failing in ways that can cause serious engine damage. When an EGR valve sticks open, it lets too much exhaust gas into the combustion chamber, which can make the engine run lean and even cause knocking or detonation. If the EGR cooler fails, it can leak coolant straight into the intake. And that's a recipe for overheating, or worse, a blown head gasket. By removing the system, you remove all those potential failure points. No more bad valves, clogged coolers, or random check engine lights linked to the EGR. And finally, one benefit that every diesel owner loves, fewer repairs and lower costs. EGR problems are incredibly common and expensive to fix. Just replacing the valve or cleaning carbon buildup can cost hundreds of dollars, and those issues often come back again and again. When you delete the system, you eliminate the need for those repeat repairs. Over the life of your vehicle, that can easily save you thousands of dollars in maintenance costs. So yes, the benefits are very real. More power, better fuel economy, cleaner combustion, longer engine life, and fewer repairs. But before you start celebrating, it's time to look at the other side of the story, because the downsides are just as important. Now that we've covered all the good stuff, it's time to talk about the other side, because an EGR delete isn't all sunshine and horsepower. There are some serious downsides you need to know before even thinking about doing it. 
The biggest one is increased emissions. Remember, the whole reason the EGR system exists is to reduce nitrogen oxides, or NOx. When you remove the system, your engine runs hotter and cleaner internally, but it also produces more NOx gases. And that's what emission tests are designed to catch. If you live in a state or region that does emissions inspections, your vehicle will almost certainly fail the test. That means you could get fined or even have your registration blocked until you fix the issue. Next, there's the risk of engine knock if the delete isn't done properly. When you remove the EGR, your air to fuel ratio changes because your engine no longer has that diluted exhaust air. If your ECU isn't tuned for this change, you can end up with a lean mixture that makes the combustion temperature skyrocket. That can lead to detonation, or in simpler terms, your engine could start knocking itself apart. That's why professional ECU tuning is absolutely critical. A proper tune adjusts the fueling, timing, and boost pressure so your engine runs safely with the EGR disabled. Skip this step and you're asking for trouble. The third drawback is increased exhaust noise. Without the EGR system controlling exhaust flow, some vehicles tend to sound a little louder, especially at idle or during hard acceleration. While that's not necessarily a bad thing for people who like a deeper exhaust tone, it can draw attention if you're trying to keep your vehicle looking and sounding stock. But here's the big one, and it's something every diesel owner must understand clearly, the legal side. In the United States, tampering with or removing any emissions control device is strictly illegal under federal law. The EGR system falls under that category. That means an EGR delete is only legal for off-road, competition, or track use vehicles. If you're caught driving a deleted vehicle on public roads, you could face heavy fines. And enforcement agencies are becoming more aggressive about cracking down on these mods. Now the exact penalties depend on where you live. Some states don't check as strictly, while others can issue thousands of dollars in fines or even impound the vehicle. But the law itself is clear. Deleting the EGR system on a street-driven vehicle is against emissions regulations. There's also the issue of warranty and resale value. If your truck or car is still under warranty, an EGR delete will almost always void it. No exceptions. Manufacturers can easily see when emission systems have been tampered with, and they won't cover any related repairs. Considering that modern diesel engines can cost anywhere from $15,000 to $30,000 to replace, that's a major financial risk. And when it comes time to sell, many buyers will walk away from a deleted vehicle. Even if they're fine with modifications, they'll likely use it as a bargaining chip to lower your asking price. Others won't touch it at all because of legal and reliability concerns. So yes, deleting your EGR can make your engine run cleaner internally and more powerful, but it also brings serious legal, financial, and environmental consequences if you're not careful. Now that we've looked at both sides, let's move on to the final part. How EGR deletes are actually done, what methods exist, how much they cost, and which one might cause more problems than it solves. All right, now let's get into the part most people are curious about, how EGR deletes are actually done, and which method is right for you. There are three main ways to perform an EGR delete, and each one has its own cost, difficulty level, and level of risk. Method one, the block off plate. This is the simplest and cheapest option. It involves installing small metal plates that block the exhaust gas from entering the intake manifold. Basically, the EGR valve stays there, but it can't pass exhaust through anymore. This keeps the engine bay looking mostly stock, which is great if you want to stay low profile. However, the ECU still thinks the EGR is active, so you'll need a tune or software adjustment to stop the check engine light from popping up. Method 2. Full Hardware Removal This is a more serious approach. It means taking out the EGR valve, cooler, hoses, and all connecting pipes completely. Then, the open ports on the intake and exhaust sides are sealed with plates or plugs. This method gives you the cleanest setup. Fewer parts, less clutter, and no chance of leaks, but it's also very noticeable. Anyone looking under the hood can tell the EGR is gone. It's also harder to reverse if you ever want to go back to stock for emissions testing or resale. Method 3. Software Delete This one doesn't involve removing anything physically. Instead, it's done through the ECU, the computer that controls your engine. A tuner modifies the software so that the EGR valve stays permanently closed and no error codes appear. This method is the easiest to reverse and it keeps your engine bay looking completely factory. 
However, it requires a professional tuner who knows your vehicle's system inside and out. No matter which method you choose, one rule never changes. You must get proper ECU tuning. Without a correct tune, your engine might run too lean or too rich, causing bad performance, knocking, or even serious engine damage. A professional tune keeps everything balanced, ensuring your diesel runs strong and safe. Now let's talk about the money side, because this is where things get interesting. A basic EGR Delete kit can cost anywhere from $100 to $600, depending on your vehicle and the brand. Professional tuning usually costs another $300 to $500, so in total, most EGR deletes are done for under $1,000, far cheaper than repeatedly fixing a clogged or failed EGR system. But here's the catch. Those savings only matter if you can legally drive your vehicle afterward. If you live somewhere with strict emissions laws, you could end up spending that same money or more, paying fines or undoing the mod. EGR deletes do work. They can give you more power, better fuel economy, cleaner internal combustion, fewer breakdowns, and even a longer engine life. But those benefits come with trade-offs, higher emissions, potential legal trouble, warranty issues, and a drop in resale value. If you're thinking about doing it, make sure you understand your local laws, work with a qualified tuner, and weigh the pros and cons for your specific vehicle and situation. At the end of the day, the EGR system itself is an evil. It just works best under certain conditions. If you use quality fuel, maintain it properly, and drive regularly, it can do its job without causing too much trouble. But when it clogs or fails, that's when the headaches begin. So, should you delete it? That's your call. Just make sure you're making the decision with all the facts, not just the ones the dealership or online forums talk about. Have you ever had issues with your EGR system? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your experience. And if this video helped you understand the truth about EGR deletes, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more simple, honest diesel advice. Your truck and your wallet will thank you for it. Until next time, drive safe and keep that diesel running strong.